Hey, good morning on this Saturday morning. Welcome church family and Facebook friends, Light for the Day. Coming to you from Romans chapter 5. And before I read the verse, just let me uh, kind of get us into it by saying, you know, one of the things I think that if every human being is honest, they would tell you that they crave to have peace. And obviously, we're in a day of unrest in our country. Uh, we're in a day of civil disobedience. Um, there's domestic violence. There's all kind of sins that we could name and problems that we could talk about. But needless to say, the, the, the judgment that we pass as we view what's going on in America is that there's a lack of peace. There's a lot of unrest. And uh, even through all that, I can honestly say as a child of God, I can go to bed every night. And as I lay my head down on my pillow, I go to bed in peace. And there's a reason for that. The Apostle Paul writes to the Romans and he says in chapter 3 that basically all the world is guilty before God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Uh, in verse 10 he says, as it is written, there's none righteous, no not one. He comes to chapter 4 and he introduces Abraham and he says Abraham was justified. That's a judicial term that means declared righteous. He was justified by faith. When you come to chapter number 5, it's the conclusion of every argument he makes about being justified by faith. And he says, therefore, chapter 5, verse 1 of the book of Romans, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's the answer. All the unrest, all the all the people in the world that lack peace, the only place they can find peace is in one person, the Lord Jesus Christ. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then because of that, it says, by whom we also have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Because I have made peace with God by accepting Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, I have access to His grace. Now, what is grace? Sometimes we see these acrostics, God's riches at Christ's expense. And it's not a bad acrostic. Um, but grace is God giving us what we don't deserve. Grace is God's supernatural enabling. We're saved by that grace. When we show faith in Christ and we say, Lord, I'm a sinner, Jesus died and rose again for my sins, and therefore I am placing my faith in what he did for me, then God gives grace and saves us. But after I get saved, I still need his power. I still need his supernatural enabling or grace to live the Christian life. And you can't have that unless you're saved. You have to first make peace with God. And then Paul said later to the Philippians, the peace of God passes all understanding. So I'll never have and experience the peace of God until I first made peace with God, Romans 5.1. And how do I make peace with God? How can you make peace with God? Trust Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And that's light for the day. God bless you.